Okay, so a super short video today. Um, Meta has introduced a new 3D uh, generation model called SAM 3D. Uh, if you don't know much about SAM, SAM stands for Segment Anything um, Model from Meta. Uh, and what they have actually introduced recently is the ability to take any photo, any object or, uh, or, or a body like a human body and convert that into a 3D geometry. So if you are, let's say, an indie game developer, uh, you might want to use that for maybe um, assets or maybe just temporary assets and so on. Uh, if you are maybe an architectural studio and you need quick access to, again, kind of a temporary models, um, I think that could be a very very cool option for you. Uh, it is free, it is open weight, so obviously you have to check the license uh, if you can monetize that or not, but uh, at the same time, it is very, very powerful. So let's have a look at it. I'll, I'm gonna put a link link to this website in the description below, so have a, have a play around. It is completely free. Before we do actually do that, let's look at the GitHub as well, because they have a GitHub. There are actually two GitHub pages. If you want to have a look at it um, and you know what to do with it. So there's one that focuses on the object extraction and, and kind of a generation. And then there is another one which focuses on the, the body as well. So if we go to the Sound 3D body, this one is going to be mainly for um, taking photos of, uh, of people and then generating 3D geometry also with the bone structure. So you can actually have a pretty strong start when it comes to like rigging and animation and so on. So anyway, let's just jump back here. And if you go to the playground itself, it's gonna open this website. You have a bunch of uh, marketing material here as well. Um, there's no bullshit here from what I can tell. It's it's pretty, pretty transparent. So let's try this out. I'm just going to use the, the available models and images. So we will only focus currently on the 3D aspects of it, but feel free to go and play around with anything that you want to do when it comes to segmentation. It's pretty, pretty awesome stuff. So let's go to create 3D scene and I'm going to just pick um, the UI is pretty decent. It's pretty easy to, to kind of follow. You can upload an image, obviously. I am just going to choose one from their examples, just to show you how it works. Let's actually pick this one here. So this is a photo, uh, looks like a photo. So the way it works, you obviously, you see the photo, you have the option to edit the mask. So you have to first select what you want to extract, right? So, so if you click on an object, I'm going to click on this object here, you can uh, see it's kind of it's trying to onboard you. So there's three steps here. So you can just select multiple objects. And as you can tell, it didn't select the entire object. So you can just keep clicking until you're happy with whatever you want to, whatever you want to kind of uh, extract from it. And let's say this is our mask. Um, it's kind of a similar to like a mask in Photoshop. And then if you click generate 3D, it shouldn't take long and it should generate a, a mesh, an actual mesh with a texture applied to it. So, so there it is. Um, yeah, it's pretty awesome. It obviously doesn't know what is behind it, so it has to get ha has to guess. Uh, but it did a pretty decent job. Again, as a temporary model that could work. And what we will do with this, we'll take this to Blender, so we can have a look at the geometry as well. I'm not entirely sure what is the purpose of the effects here because they seem to be very kind of a random. But you can have a look at the the variety of, I guess, um, textures that you can uh, test with your model. Maybe if you're doing something that is, you know, being style stylized somehow in your game or your 3D scene, and you just want to test it here. And <laughs> this is kind of wild. Um, not entirely sure again, what is the purpose of this? Maybe this is just for testing purposes for them, for Meta to test stuff. But anyway, it is here. Uh, you can play around with this. You can even add like a, a tune, um, kind of a texture or a filter on top of it. 
But anyway, so the cool part about this is you can now export this mesh. So if you click on download, you get two options. Uh, we will try the GLB file format, which is um, very common file format. You can obviously use that generation also to uh, 3D print objects, which um, should be fun as well. So I'm just going to download this object and import that into Blender, and then we can have a look at the geometry itself. Okay, so we are in Blender now. Um, and as you can tell, this is a 3D object, which is pretty cool. We can probably just smooth that geometry a little bit, see how it looks. Again, it's going to be probably good for like temporary things. Um, if you want to pre-visualize things in your game or whatever you're doing uh, when it comes to 3D environments, this is pretty sweet. I mean, it took a few seconds and uh, this is what you get. Okay, now let's have a look at the body generation. So this is going to focus mainly on extracting human figures from images. Let's maybe select this one here. It is already searching for a person. It has selected the person here. And then if we were to, I guess, do I need to click? Yeah. So if I click, it's going to generate. Um, yeah. I mean, this is pretty awesome. Look at that. So it has generated the mesh, but it also has generated the, the, the bone structure, which you can use then for rigging in your 3D application. Um, for animation uh, and so on. Okay, so there it is, our object in in Blender. Uh, so we, we do get the mesh, as you can see, looks pretty decent. And then you also get the uh, the bone structure, which is pretty awesome for rigging. Very very helpful. So anyway, guys, I hope you uh, enjoyed this um, kind of a content. It's been a while since I've been posting. Um, there's been so much, so much hype, so much bullshit videos on YouTube about AI. Uh, I just want to try and find things that are valuable. I feel like this has a huge, huge potential, um, mainly for small creators and obviously for the future of uh, 3D and um, VFX. So anyway, thanks for watching. Um, give it a like, subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.